What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, I got to break this down, man. We got Kanye in the car making videos, calling out Kim K, basically saying that she's practicing parental alienation and keeping him away from his daughter's birthday. All right. And this is what a lot of women do when they have a kid with a guy who they no longer want to be with. Um, as you guys can see, Kim Kardashian left Kanye and now she's over here parading with Pete Davidson getting her back blown out by Pete Davidson which is fine she has the right to move on but it does put Kanye in a weird situation because now another man is around their kids see she does what a lot of um, women do and they basically start dating a new dude and immediately bring him around their kids so now the, the kids are confused because they're like, where's daddy? And then this guy is the one kissing on mommy, okay? So I think Kanye got in over his head when he started dealing with the Kardashians because he had to know that they were this type of family, okay? Um, very dysfunctional, um, <clears throat> very manipulative. And she, she got on by, you know, a, a sex tape. So he did a lot of things wrong when trying to turn a hoe into a housewife, okay? But now what we're going to watch is Kanye venting to the people and getting out his frustrations, which I don't really think is the best way to do it, but I understand why he's doing it. Um, I think you should keep these things internal, but this is what a lot of women do um, they air out the business, they air out the baby daddy online, and I think he is kind of taking um, a play out of their playbook, so I don't really think this is the best move and the best way to handle it, but we're going to break down what he's talking about, okay? Yeah, I'm just wishing my daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the so he's driving he got the gps on <laughs> and he says that she is not letting him know where the birthday party is obviously he's unwanted at the um child's birthday party because probably they were trying to avoid a situation where pete davidson was there and he was there at the same time but i think that's super wrong to have the new stepdad a coming through and not the original father or the biological father being able to attend the birthday party. He should take precedent over the new boyfriend. The life it's the kind of thing that right onto aviation really global. has affected my health for the longest. Uh, and I'm just not playing. I'm not letting, I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And the yay version of a father, you know, I respect that he is trying to be involved in his kid's life. I just, I just, I just don't want to see Kanye on social media trying to hash out his family things because it gives me, you know, we already know that he's struggling with his mental health and all that kind of stuff. It gives me crash out vibes. Like he, he's the type of dude who I could definitely see crashing out and I don't wish that upon him, but I think all the stress and, and, and all of the things that are going on with the family and him involving himself with the Kardashians, man, it, it, it it's looking rough for the brother Kanye. I'm I'm not finna let this happen. And we're gonna be in real time. Take a slight right turn onto I four right five here. North. Chicago, happy birthday. I love you. And I'm just putting this online because I need y'all support. I didn't call Kim, text the nannies. I got on the phone with Tristan. He he said he asked Chloe, won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party? Dang, so he asking everybody what the address is. 
he going to Chloe's cheating boy, <laughs> cheating boyfriend to ask what I, if the cheating boyfriend knows where the birthday party is and is asking for permission to give up the location. That's crazy. That's crazy. Party right now. And that's going to imprint in her mind that I wasn't there for her. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't. Yo, I'm then just wishing my one, daughter a public right. happy. This, uh, this, I was supposed to be in Miami recording my album. I'm, my whole schedule is all based around me being able to take my kids to school, me being there for them, making sure that I'm in their life. That's the whole point of having money. They take so many fathers just throughout America. They've been taking the fathers out the homes. And he, he, he's not lying. There is um, an underlying incentive for women to take the fathers out of the home. And we see this oftentimes with these chicks who are getting pregnant by celebrity men. The only difference is if Kim Kardashian or since Kim Kardashian is a celebrity as well, you wouldn't expect this behavior from her. But this goes to show that it doesn't matter what level the woman is at. She is still going to, when you guys break up, there's still going to be strife there. And then there's still going to be petty activities going on between the relationship. And she's probably going to be planting some negative seeds into the child's mind about the father. Um, this, this is something that is commonplace nowadays, especially with these modern, modernized, over-sexualized Generation Z women. Purposely, so I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice to say... This ain't gonna keep happening. This narrative ain't not gonna happen. It's a lot of people that's not in a position where they ain't got no voice when people be playing games like this. Baby mamas be playing games. The grandma would be playing games like this. Not the grandma playing games. So we got Chris um, Jenner and, and, and Caitlyn Jenner playing games. Playing games with the location of the birthday party of the child. This is obvious parental alienation. And I think that he ended up spending some time with the child i think i saw some pictures so obviously this tactic worked in getting him into the birthday party and it's like as y'all know they ain't finna play like that with, with me so y'all seen that man um shout out to the brother kanye i hope that he is able to overcome this but this just goes to show this is a lesson to all my guys out there who are dealing with women who are thotted up online if you're dealing with a uh, women who women who are thotted up online bro you can just already assume that they're not going to be good mothers. They're not going to be good parents. Um, they're always going to, if they're a single mom, they're always going to hold that over the kid's head and they're going to hold that over the baby father's head, okay? And this just goes to show that, you know, you don't want to get involved with any of these succubus women, bro, because Kim Kardashian, she's going to end up ruining Kanye, okay? And, and he's already done a lot of ruining of himself, but I think this may be the nail in the coffin, especially if this uh, practice of parental alienation continues to go on between their relationship. I definitely can see Kanye crashing out and I don't wish that upon him. But my brother, you need to come over here and reclaim your throne. We're going to get that work. We're going to get you in the right mindset. We're going to get you in the right mind frame. And, and you're going to understand that um, she's, it's not your, she's not yours. It's just your turn, bro. Like You got to enjoy the time that you have with her. Um, I don't think you should have really had kids with her, but that, hey, that's just me. That was your wife. It, it is what it is. But um, hey, man, it's time to move on. It's time to start a new family, man, and and, and do what you can to involve your uh, daughters that are, and kids that you got right now. But also, you need to be working on creating a whole new life for yourself and preferably getting a woman who ain't all out there and who ain't thought it up and, and who ain't clout chasing, who ain't gold digging um so anyways you already know what it is man it's your boy reclaim your throne make sure you like comment share subscribe send your relationship question to the email down below and you already know reclaim your throne Claim your throne.